folks, here we are in Las Vegas at the Meepleville Board Game Cafe. All right, so this is a game cafe that's here, and we're gonna go inside and check it out. It's not open right now, so you're not gonna see people in here, but we will be able to see what the place looks like. So first we have here a area where you can uh, buy games. Here's Featured Game Week, so Plague Incorporate, which is a pretty cool game. Vast, uh, Anachrony, which is getting a lot of love despite its terrible cover. Um, but there's actually, most board game cafes have some games for sale, but this one has more than most and a really good selection. Of course, you can see Cosmic Academy on the shelf, so you know they have good taste. Um, so as we look around here, there's some smaller games. A whole one night ultimate whatever. Ted Ausbach's eventually gonna make one night ticket to ride and stuff like that, I'm sure of it. All right, so we got a lot of family games here, all the smash up expansions, and all sorts of little games here. And of course, behind a counter, games and sleeves and things like that. Then after that, as we spin around the yellow mini games, which you should definitely check out because they're great. Here we have the game itself, along with the world's largest meeple, which is big enough that even gamers can get through. Um, over here are games that are more for look than play, but we're talking old school games. Some of you will probably drool when you see these games here just because many of these games, well, not many, they're all out of print, um, but they're hard to get. And most of these are, uh, you know, classics. Of course, some of them are classically bad, but still the fact that they're here. Over here, we see some other, you know, just rare games, but that's not actually what people are gonna be playing. Over here is where we have what people play. Now, of course, at any game cafe, if you run a game cafe, you need to have party and dexterity games out, right? So we can see here, classic Americana. Here's Will Wheaton's picks. I don't see Dice Tower picks, but whatever. Not every game cafe is perfect. And over here, we have some hot new games. Um, these are, of course, the games that people probably play the most often or games that can be taught by the staff here. Although, I don't know if anyone's playing The Colonists anytime soon. That's a pretty long game to play. And you can see the tables here. Here's some tables set up for X-Wing. So when we go through here, we have the game cafe itself. You can see the menu here, different... Uh, things that you can get sandwiches and bowls and of course drinks and we got a little area here where you can play some games and there's also some nice artwork here on the walls just various well that's kind of weird but all kinds of artwork and things and you'll notice that on the walls there's games here there's a spot for some round tables some couches for lounging and then back in here this is the what's this room called the interactive room where oh folks if you've never played this game this game is super fun what you need to do with this one is you have to spin the ball like this you're gonna spin it so that it it goes and then spins backwards so you have to maybe I gotta give it a little bit more English here there we go ah come on Woo! love this game and of course giant Jenga Suspend, and so you see all sorts of games here that can be used for that. And then we're gonna go back around here, back to the, this is where the gamers go. And you can see on the walls, way back here, some games, you might recognize some of these games. Um, and there's more of them on the wall. Here's the yellow room, which, is it yellow? It is. And a table in here, so you can have some private gaming in here. Um, there's Scotland Yard in the wall, family ties. And so these tables, really nice chairs and tables here. And then a huge gaming library for gamers. And so this one's organized by types. So you can see here, space, vampires, zombies, and monsters, uh, transportation, pink. Co oh, co-ops, okay. Uh, Lord of the Rings and two-player games and pirates and you know some more of these classic games up here all sorts of games so these are the top games from board game geek so you can see you know we some of the top rated games terra mystica cover twilight struggle through the ages puerto rico mage knight you know the top 
going down. Not all 100 top games are here, but not all one top 100 games are good anyway. But enough are here that you can uh, really play all sorts of things. Over here are some more games on display. People who like Ambush and Up Front and Squad Leader and, yes, other games. And, of course, every game cafe needs a dice tower. This is Tim. Who Hello. runs the cafe? How long has it been operational? Just over a year. Opened January of last year. All right. So if someone wants to come here, uh, what's the cover fee? Five dollars, and they can stay and play as long as they like. All right. And so um, you can come in here, and it's open from four to eleven usually, it's midnight yes. on weekends. Uh, yep. Actually, till one. Saturday it's open from uh, noon to one. Sunday uh, from noon to eight. But every other day during the week, four till uh, midnight or eleven. All right, and so if you're watching this, hopefully, and you're anywhere in Las Vegas, don't go gamble. Come here to this board game cafe. Check it out. All right, folks, thanks for watching. <laughs>